for the upcoming patch next week. Let's start with the obvious ones. Uh, Vagar is getting a buff. Big range buff on W or on Q. Small range buff on W. Um, I don't think he. I don't think he needs a buff really. I don't think he's that weak. But hey, I also. I don't think that a buff is going to make or break him either right now with that buff. I don't think that buff is going to make or break him. Um, he is going to be a little bit... Uh, he's he's going to be even better though, for sure. Farming safely and all that. He's going to survive a lot of lanes that he otherwise wouldn't. Um, but the cooldown's not really being changed. Um, doesn't normally change his flow too much in, in my experience. The windows where he can be punished and all that. Cho'Gath, mana cost is down. Q damage is up. Um, gets quite healthy damage by the end of the game. Uh, he gets some armor growth. His mana cost on his W is also going down. Um, that's nice for Cho'Gath players. There's some good bush cheese and Cho'Gath strategies up top lane that you can use. Uh, like AP one-shot people. This is kind of... This isn't really modifying that at all. This is just... For me, what this looks like is... Just standard Cho'Gath is going to have more mana in the late game. A little bit tankier. Small. Small amount of tanky stats. Um... Uh, let's be honest, it's still Cho'Gath, just like the Vagar, still pretty exploitable later. Um, so yeah. Alistar, passive heal is up. The QAP ratio, AP ratio is up. That's just AP builds. It's not really valuable for, for Alistar. Although, um, you're going to have some opportunities to build AP if you want. Uh, and Alistar, with those buffs coming, you might be able to bring him into some solo lanes too, uh, which could be kind of interesting. Um, solo lane, Alistar top might show back up with this change. Although I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet the farm on it, pun intended. Ari, uh, base HP is up, armor's up, RCD is down. Huge buff for Ari. Um, break, brings her right back into viability. I, you know, I hadn't seen the numbers yet when I said they're buffing her. Uh, her lane phase is already pretty tough for melee champs to deal with. Seems like, um, that's where Riot's trying to make sure that you beat all the melee, uh, you know, the Yones, the Renektons, the fucking Trindomirs, the... You know, you name it. If it's a champion, Aurelius. If you bump into those champions, you're going to be a little bit happier playing Ari because you got more HP, you got more armor, you got lower cooldowns on your R. So yeah, you're a counter pick to a lot of ADs. Remember that if you like Ari and you want to play it in the ADs. Got it? Um, Malphite. WCD is down. Attack armor ratio is up to 15%. Cone armor ratio is up to 20%. Big buff to Malphite. Already a really tough pick. Um... To deal with in general for again a lot of the the bruiser types um malphite's going to show up a lot more into those and also um as you can see uh he is not he's <laughs> he, he's getting multiple buffs um he's getting ratio buffs as well as the the w buff so some easy champs getting some easy love viego passive damage can now crit the r ratio three percent missing hp that is up uh, 5% missing HP per 100 bonus AD. So it's a pretty significant buff to the execute. Um, big deal, big deal. So you're going to be able to execute people with Viego a little bit easier. They want Viego to be viable, let's face it. Uh, I don't even think he's that weak. He's been played in pro for a while. Um, I, I think Riot's just trying to sell this champion. He's a popular champion, Riot wants people to play their game. In my opinion. I, we're playing a game that's fucking corporate owned right now. And uh, I've been talking doom and gloom about this game for this year. These types of changes are pretty obviously targeted to players that want the Timmy champ to be popular. Aphelios, attack speed is up uh, pretty substantially uh, by end game. It's up to 54%. That's a 9% increase. Um, and I think it's deserved. I think he, I think he's kind of weak. And you, I can see him showing up from time to time and being strong again. Senna, uh, attack speed ratio is up to 4%. RCD is... Uh, let's see here. The RCD. Why are we seeing RCD, but it's not R? Oh, there's the RCD. It goes, it goes down. And now you've got a little bit more damage on your ult. Um, so Senna gets some love here and gets the attack speed ratio. So she's getting a lot of love. Senna is going to show back up a little bit more now. Riven passive damage. What is that? Passive damage is going linearly. 1.75% per level with the passive damage. It's now de dealing damage to towers. 50% effectiveness. Um, passive stacks. So they're making Riven a little bit more of a split pusher. Uh, strange buff. Don't like it. 
Champion's fucking annoying to deal with. Now you're gonna have to deal with their split pushing a little bit more. Um, but ribbon players should enjoy the, the macro option, I guess. Base armor on Oriana is going up to 20. W mana is going up or is going down. Um, I already said this in the past, uh, the previous rundown before I saw the numbers, but Oriana does need some love. She's pretty, she's pretty easy to beat. She's pretty easy to mess up. And uh, I don't think these changes really push her over the edge. It's not nearly as bad as Ari's changes, which look a little bit more substantial, at least in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't even think this is going to make Ori that strong still. Actually, I was hoping for more. Uh, Samira nerfs, well-deserved. Champions OP in the right hands. Lots of duo abuse strategies. Maybe if Riot would uh, remove duo from the game, they wouldn't feel Samira had such crazy stats. Or crazy results to the point that she needed to be nerfed. Hey, just a thought. Jax nerfs are totally deserved as well. Um, you're seeing both of these champions just getting across the board nerfs. Um, Jax nerfs. I don't even want to read this nonsense. But basically, Jax numbers overall go down. What the fuck? There we go. Jax overall numbers go down. Um, let's see. E dodges increase total damage instead of base damage. E damage, max damage. R on hit damage. So just damage numbers are down, uh, which I think is deserved. And then Samira... You know, Samira right now is getting a little less move speed. Um, she's getting a little less HP. And again, like I was saying earlier, I think it's totally deserved. Uh, Maokai. Maokai is getting nerfed in multiple ways. I think this is going to be a little bit of an overkill, but I get it. He's, um, he's unfun to play into. Uh, and he just wins every objective automatically. It's fucking stupid. I, I don't know how you can actually balance this guy. I knew he would probably be broken. Um, but he's in a weird spot. He's like broken, but he's like, he's like a flat like uh he's not really popping off on you he's just kind of like sitting on objectives and being a dickhead and it's not fun to play into i mean hell after you get the formula down it's not even fun to play uh so i am down with it i'm down with the nerf at least nerf it should have been nerfed it should have been hot fix nerf like three fucking months ago it was obviously broken um the base damage of the spiderlings is down uh the base damage is down 10 for the q um they're making it a little harder for her to finish kills um, other than that, though, she's still least. This isn't really much of a... Yeah, when I'm looking at this, actually... Yes, her Q base damage goes down. Um, but she's still least, bro. She's still fine. Uh, she's still gonna come and... She's still gonna show up and dive your tower. Um... I, I don't I don't think it kills her. Uh, it'll bring the numbers down though. Probably is what they're looking for the win rate to bump down a bit. But this was this isn't gonna kick her out of the top spot, in my opinion. Health growth, armor growth, uh, both of those are down on a Moo Max. The damage on a Moo uh, W is going down a little bit as well. Um, I would say a Moo more similar comments to Elise. I don't think it's going to kick him out of the jungle. I think if anybody's getting booted out of the jungle, it's probably going to be Maokai. Um, I guess Amumu, if Amumu's building demonic, maybe he, he'll be taking a bigger hit. But I think Maokai's, Maokai is not liking these changes for sure. In comparison to all the APs that I'm seeing right now, uh, his EHP ratio is slow per 100. Uh... Yeah, plus demonic nerf. I don't know. I think eventually you're just gonna be losing more than you're than you're winning playing him. But that's just my that's just my take. Um, but he's still gonna be good into some comps. Uh, Udir HP growth is down. Base armor is down. On hit ratio is down. The slow is down. Um, <clears throat> guy's still pretty strong too. Um, I don't. I, I don't think anything here is going to change much because, and we'll get to this in a second, the jungle is going to be modified a bit, and he's still going to be able to full clear if he wants. Um, so I, I think Udyr is actually going to still hold okay. Um, I don't think I don't think these individual changes to champs are going to shake up the meta too much, but maybe the other stuff that we read the bottom might. Jarvan is getting a cooldown increase. His AD ratio on his shield is going down a little bit. Um, which I think is fair. Jarvan's been pretty strong. Anivia health growth is down 92. Armor growth is down. So she's going to be a little bit easier to kill. Thank God. Mana. Uh, she's getting less mana early. Um, oh yeah, that's substantial. 100 mana down early levels. Uh, the W recharge is a little bit higher. So yeah, that's substantial. Uh, Anivia is going to be taking a hit on this patch, especially early. Uh, that stings. That stings for early Anivia fights. Early Anivia gameplay and scaling it that that delays it. So yeah, that's gonna be 
That's gonna make her a little weaker, I think. That's probably one of the harder hits I've seen on the patch. Azir, E damage is... Let's see. E damage is... Going up. It looks like. Over time, scaling. Um, But the... And the R damage... I thought this was nerf. Let me read this. They're saying it's a nerf, but the way that they're structuring the readout makes it look like it's a buff, so I, I don't quite understand what this is. I guess I'm just fucking the number read up, or, or they are, or whatever, but whatever. Uh, Thresh, Thresh max order Q damage. Um, he's getting some love on his Q max. His cooldown, if you max Q, is getting a lot lower. The W shield is a little weaker. The cooldown, uh, if you max W... It looks like it's going to be a slightly higher. And the E damage overall, he's getting some AP ratio and he's getting more love with his E. So it looks like there's going to be some AP builds that are opening up for Thresh, as well as the opportunity to max Q. Relic Shield and shield, uh, Steel Shoulder Guards, both of those are getting a lot of love early. Um, you're going to be able to play into the poke, mage, the poke uh, meta a little bit better with melee champs. This is a huge substantial meta shift for bot lane. If you play bot lane, I don't know if you guys like playing poke champs or engage champs, but engage champs will be getting a lot more love now. You're going to be able to take your relic shield, your shoulder guards, and actually get some value out of those. Uh, enjoy, because you're going to be a lot tougher to uh, poke down, and you're going to have more opportunities to engage. And Spell Thieves um, is also taking a a hit so yeah this is like a force this is like a force meta shift freak really doesn't like poke mages to be honest i don't like the poke champs either um so the meta is about to switch real fucking good you're gonna see a lot more bruiser beefy motherfuckers in the bot lane and rightfully so rip to the support mages out there uh support mages and the support champions the, the enchanters all that they're gonna be taking a big hit Kill experience. Kills against enemies as your level progresses to your next level. Um, you are not going to be getting as much XP anymore uh, as you're getting... So, kill kills against enemies at your level as percent progress to your next level. Yeah. That's that's a big uh, that's a big change. Not so much Mario Party now. 30 across the board, levels 1 through 10 to eventually 50%. And then 16% level difference between you and the champion killed. 20% per level beyond the first between you and the champion killed. Increase kill experience by 16, 32, 48, 64. Now it's going to be 0. Uh, it's going to be 0, 20, 40, 60. Gold per stack on the treasure hunter is going down. And now, uh, wow, that's actually, this is huge. Um, so one of my biggest complaints right now one of my biggest complaints right now has been that the um, the game has felt like very Mario Party. And so with these level, the, the XP that you're getting back from kills and basically from just goofy ganks, um, you're not going to be getting as much XP and you're going to be behind to the farming junglers a bit more. So I'm excited because, and I was just talking about this on stream, here I'm leveling a new account and I'm like, man, I might play jungle on this, on this new account just because I feel like this meta shift is so significant. You've got, uh, you've got an opportunity to actually farm a bit and you don't just feel like you automatically lose anymore, uh, to junglers. So I'm going to give that a run, um, because at the moment it is absolute madness. That's a fucking madhouse on the roll. Uh, so I really want to play that out. And I think that overall there's so much nerfing happening to XP when you have a level lead, um, this is going to be kind of wacky to see this shift. Uh, but I think it's going to favor junglers that are farming. So add that to the fact Malkai's getting nerfed, Demonic's getting nerfed, XP's changing, all those things. I would really like to try out jungling on the new account and now see how far I've come with my practice and, and understanding the meta and all that. So we'll give that a try. Jungle sustain and clear speed. You're also getting more sustain. The, the Gromp base Gromp HP is down. So your clears are down. The Rift Herald no longer has a soft reset. So basically, you're more incentivized to start on blue. Companion AP ratio is down a little bit. Um, so your AP junglers are getting nerfed again. And all of a sudden, you now have some fucking power farmers in this mix. Um, so yeah. That's going to be interesting. 
Um, I'm already warming up the heck room on this. Uh, you know, maybe Nocturne shows back up here or there. Just a little bit. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this all plays out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what champs are you guys looking forward to play? Chat. And also, if this goes to YouTube, let me let me know what you guys are thinking about this right now. I think that... Uh, I think I'm welcome. I think I'm welcoming a game that isn't so goddamn variable.